Well, the first week of tolls in Hampton Roads continues. We're adjusting to a new normal, and many small businesses say the tolls of the downtown and midtown tunnels will hurt their bottom line. Yeah, for weeks they've been budgeting for the added cost, and Tennessee side's Aaron Kelly is on toll patrol. Pink roses. Two weeks into tolls at the downtown and midtown tunnels, the sunflower florist in Norfolk will load up for what's become their Super Bowl, Valentine's Day. It's called the Pink Daisy Delight. Last year, they made 75 deliveries to Portsmouth for the holiday. This year, those trips across the Elizabeth River will be more expensive. I feel like we're being taxed to death. You got to do what you got to do to get them out. We'll probably make 10 or 15 trips. Uh, Valentine's Day. But the rest of the year, owner Rosemary Causey will have to cut back. Right now we go twice a day, but when the toll comes in effect, we're going to cut it down to like one o'clock in the afternoon, one time a day, because it adds up. Some are not happy because there are some days you make your lease, and some days you can't make your lease. So the little money you make, if you're going that way twice or three times, you're going to end up paying. Your money out of out of the lease. Taxi driver Aru Monk says the ride from the airport to Portsmouth is about thirty dollars. He'll have to charge customers for the toll through the tunnels, but he'll eat the cost of the toll on his trip back. It's annoying, but am I going to sit in the house because of the toll? I'm not going to sit in the house. I got to be economic survival. As a small business, I think it's more. Um, it's going to hurt me more if I don't try to help you know, buffer this cost a little bit. Norma Dory will pay back customers who come to her salon through the tunnels. With the presentation of their ID showing that they are residents of Portsmouth or Suffolk, we will give them a credit at that day on their service. She has no idea how much it will cost her, but she thinks it's worth it. We're going to try to, to make that, um, that a little less painful. So that's, um, that's what we can do in our, in our small way. Well, the owner of that salon says that she hopes businesses in Portsmouth and Norfolk will follow suit and help out everyone affected by these tolls.